Hello and welcome to day 42 of my 365 days of crafting. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute Christmas card holder. And if you get a lot of Christmas cards, you can make two or three and it can decorate a whole wall. They're really cute and really easy. So let's get started. What you will need for this project is a large embroidery hoop. I'm using an oval quilting hoop right here. I found this at the thrift store for 50 cents and I can find embroidery hoops at the thrift store all day long and some ribbon of your choice some of these small little clothes pins that you can buy at the craft store you will need a needle and thread and you will need some either tacky glue or some epoxy if you would like to decorate the sides of your Christmas card holder you can do that with buttons or rickrack anything just use your imagination I left mine plain because I like the photos and the Christmas cards to be the focal point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave about three inches at the top that will be empty. So I'm going to glue them every two inches from that three inch point. You can use a glue gun too if you like. And I'm going to glue one in and one out. Now you could paint this if you'd like. I kind of like the natural wood, but if you wanted to paint this like a festive color like red or green, you could do that. That would look really cute. So once you get them all glued on, it will look like this and then let them dry completely. And then to add the bow, I've cut a piece of ribbon about 20 inches long and I'm going to just loop that in center it in that three inch mark there, put a little craft glue there and press it down to even it out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang it like that and then I'm going to just make a stitch across there with a needle and thread to secure it. You could also use a sewing machine to stitch this closed. Once you get that stitch across just leave your needle and thread there because we're going to use that again to attach our bow. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of my perfect bows that I show how to make in day five on the bonus video. You just take the two loops and you cross them over and pull them through. And then just go ahead and make the bow how you want it to look. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stitch that on to that using my existing needle and thread. If you just turn it around, you can just go back the way you came when you were stitching the other two closed and just stitch it on. And just don't go all the way through so the thread shows on the other side of the bow. So you're going to do that all the way across and then secure it with a knot. And then when you get your bow done, you're ready to hang it on the wall and start adding your Christmas cards. You can also use this hoop to make an advent calendar. And I thought that would be really cute. What I did with this is I took a piece of paper and I printed off of clip art just a one and a Christmas image. And I printed that out and then I just cut it out and glued it to the front of this envelope. You can also print it directly onto the envelope and you just do 1 through 25 and make sure you have 25 clothes pins on your hoop and you can just tuck little treats in here like maybe a dollar bill or you can use gift cards, just little things. You could even do cute little Christmas quotes from movies or other Christmas sayings. If you're, if you're religious, you can do Christmas uh, quotes from the Bible, and um, there's just a lot of really cool ideas that you can do for this advent calendar. Another thing that you can use this for after the holidays is to post up snapshots, and we all have snapshots lying around. I usually have two boxes full of them at one time, and you could just display your snapshots randomly on the hoop after the holidays. 
You could even do your Christmas photos on there and then change them out with the seasons. Thank you for joining me for day 42 of my 365 days of crafting. I hope you have found this video valuable. And again, if you have any questions or suggestions on anything that you'd like to see or questions about a project, please comment me at YouTube or at my blog at zulieblue.blogspot.com. And I will see you tomorrow.